Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make it so that when you click on one of your letters, it's actually gonna change the way it looks. So to um, start off any code in Scratch, we always want to start with some kind of an event block. So the event tabs, you're gonna end up using all of these at some point and get very familiar with them. So to um, start off this code, we wanna make it so that when we click on a letter, in this case, we're coding the letter D right now, and we want to make it so that when we click on this sprite, it's going to change the way it looks. So we have the code to start that, the block, and now we want to actually change the appearance of it, so the way it looks. So we can click on the other tab, and there's a lot of options here. What I want to do is actually change the color of this. So if I grab this change color effect by 25, I can connect it right here, just like puzzle pieces. And now whenever I click on the letter D, it's going to run whatever code is attached to it. In this case, it changed the color effect by 25, whatever that means is gonna do. So when I click on it, every single time, it's changing the color. Now, if I change this number to something smaller, let's say one, now when I click on it, it's changing, but it's really hard to see. So let me click a bunch. Ah, uh, yeah, clicking speed. And you can see it slowly changing. Now, the cool thing about Scratch is, one of the cool things, is there's a lot of things that you can do inside of the platform. So for instance, this block actually has even more options than just changing the color. If I click on this triangle right here, it gives you even more options. So what I can do is pick any one of these options and be like, okay, what happens when I do pixelate and instead of by one, I'm gonna do 15. So now when I click on this, it's going to pixelate by 15. So let's see what that does. So I click. Now it kind of looks like a 16-bit video game. So what I want you to do is I want you to actually code all of your letters using a when this sprite is clicked and then add in some kind of looks blocks. You can even add in different combinations of them. So for instance, I wanted to pixelate again and change the color. So now when I click on it, I have an 8-bit looking letter D that has to now change the colors. Now. In Scratch, because there's a lot of options, you might get stuck and be like, I have no idea what this block does. So one of the cool things about Scratch is if you actually click on this question mark right here, it's the block help tool. So you click on it, and then you can click on any block you want, like the one I just used, and it explains it, it shows you an example of it, it will be very helpful. The only problem is it doesn't know what you're trying to code, so it might show you something that's really cool, but it might not have anything to do with what you're working on. But anyways, so what I want you to do, code all your letters, add in some looks blocks, but make sure you always start with some kind of event. And in this case, we're gonna say when this sprite is clicked. Go for it. 